Well, right, guys, before we go ahead, I wanted to show you guys this cool navigation bar app. I already have shown you a few days back how does it looks like, but I started using it and I kind of like it. So it gives me a very, very great functionality. You can see, first off, uh, I can just check here uh, this kind of battery percentage left. You can just see here near this, uh, near the app switcher bar, it, the battery percentage uh, you know, keeps on decreasing. This is a bar, so this bar keeps on decreasing. The dark, uh, the lighter one you can see is a battery used and the remaining one is the battery left so if you just go inside open any application it turns the color so whatever you want you can do that and you can add up to four emojis so i've just taken some random our national flag and some hand right by hand right and a camera because this is a pixel the best camera phone and a dummy phone dialer so you can customize it a lot so guys that's my android desktop uh, right here you can see i just want to give you guys a quick tour of what i'm carrying on my desktop because i haven't shown you so that's my phone, this, uh, my computer, you can see file explorer, I have a very less uh, storage drive, I'm just carrying single storage drive here on my computer. So this is what you can see, this PC, if I just show you this here, this is Android running, and again, the local list, some network bar, FTP, and I got some bunch of small folders that you guys have, photos, uh, nothing more cool this, so this is what here, and this is my desktop, and this live wallpaper you can see. It's very great if you just create live wallpaper on your desktop with the computer. So right here, this is my Chrome and I just running Windows 10 latest build. And this is the settings layout and you got this Google search here. And uh, this is the Google search right here. I should open very fast. Uh, and this is here, you can see this is your messaging here. If I just click here, it's a complete message. So, and again, this is phone dialer, this is Chrome. So you might have seen this navigation bar, so you can guess that, right? Uh, this is a new launcher I wanted to show you, called as a computer launcher. So it cannot make your phone completely computer, but yeah, whatever they have done, they have done very great. It has a few cons and I've used it uh, for a couple hours now and I will show you whether you should be using that or not, what are the cons, what you do, what you cannot do. So first thing, so you can easily uh, rotate your screen in case you wanted to. That's very great looking device and if you just take a look here on this side, uh, it's very very difficult to tell whether it is a computer desktop or not because uh, I guess most of the users might have just confused earlier when I've shown you. So getting inside, this is your usual, it shows your frequent applications uh, right on the top and uh, then from the alphabetical A, B, C, all the stuff and this is your file manager. And they made this file explorer exactly look like that one, but they haven't given much further options like, you know, the view layout and other things so that you cannot do that. You just have the more you can share, zip and zip share the network and other things you can create folder going inside this. Since this is Android and it got only one storage drive, so it shows on your C drive. Obviously, you cannot do formatting here. So these are the usual folders that you have going back and you got the quick access, you can see. Next up, download documents picture. So you can get inside anything. I can easily navigate that. You can click back here and back directory, desktop, all the stuff. So guys, this is your launcher. And I wanted to show you some drawback here first. First off, there is no setting that uh, you can eventually think of, like uh, any kind of launcher customization. No, there is no at all. And uh, only the option you will get is the change background. You can launch camera directly, the gallery and the wallpaper. And uh, there is uh, in the taskbar, you cannot add any shortcut, whatever is there. This is well, let me just give it a try here. If I just uh, hold on to this here, see, there's nothing happening. So, whatever they are given, this is a fix. So, this is what you can get. But yeah, you can create shortcuts to the desktop. For example, I can remove this Chrome from here, remove it. So, it is removed. And there is an option to empty recycle bin, but I'm not sure whether any files are going to there or not. And I can keep. Say I'm just wanted to create a shortcut for the inbox. I just hold on here, install create shortcut properties. So create shortcut, you should create it here. So now you got your inbox here. If you click, it's open. So on the users folder, it shows the same stuff and the browser works pretty much great. There is no multi window concept like you may zooming and there's two folder you can see. This is maximized but it's not working. If I close it, it's closed. So my computer came here. It minimizes perfectly, but you cannot run uh, two folders together. Obviously, this is not a computer that you can, you can do multitasking, but whatever it is, it looks good. Other things that you can see, it shows you some layout, and this is actually, they are not uh, adopting properly to the display if you rotate it. 
So this is the calculator and it shows it's agree to install it. So they might take it to the Play Store to install some application. So this is from the same team. Now getting inside and this is your Skype, this is camera. Actually they made a default Windows 10 logo. This is the Lumia camera layout. This is Windows Store logo and the photos they have taken the Android. So they have mixed it so they have to take it the same way and it shows some other you can see. So going down. And this is your setting options if you just click here rate setting privacy policy this is a direct folder launch setting you can lay out from here let me quickly show you the network stuff if you do their ftp the start server for file sharing lan and searching for devices and actually i've installed in the two devices both are connected to the same network we will just take a look here and see whether it is connecting properly or not so it shows you can see now i wanted to show you guys some drawbacks you can see they are not very uh, great responsive so this is how you look like as you can see guys on this device uh, when we started the demo that device was already installed the same launcher so it won't lock your device it will just minimize the brightness and it will just keep on here as it is so you can see uh, but it looks great here when you have on this one location you can see now you can see completely all the stuff you have microsoft edge and your mail store and all the things here so anyway guys this is what it look like now at the final whether you should be using that or not so i think uh, these kinds of launch, uh, launcher looks good at initial but uh, we are so addicted to our android that we cannot change the way we use to see notifications we used to open setting we used to go inside the app drawer so these things are for only very very addictive or you can say die hard core windows user who are using windows from the day they born it they have the windows phone and they cannot switch to their layout so this is what it looks like but it's not so difficult to use it you can see uh, if you just are using this other hand you can do that using from here it's a little bit uh, tedious you know to go from here accidentally i press search most of the times but uh, this hand i can easily use it and uh, as i told you you cannot create anything here no setting shortcuts nothing you can just remove it from here if i just click on the youtube you can uh, remove and install both from here and uh, you cannot add anything on the taskbar like you want to customize something you cannot do that say no op options are coming so it's common guys so there you have it guys this is your computer launcher a new and innovative launcher so guys thank you so much for watching and i'll talk to you guys in the next video have a great day